If you craft with aluminum cans, you're going to want to see this. Hi there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials to give you ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. If you craft with aluminum cans, you've probably at some point wanted to just remove the top of the can. So in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to do that. If you've seen some of my other videos, then you know I'm a big fan of this tool called Draft Top, and I've made quite a few different projects using this tool. But I also got some comments on those videos that you can use just a regular can opener, and I've seen a video where someone used sandpaper and needle nose pliers to remove the top of the can. So I decided to put these three methods to a side-by-side -side test. Now a lot of aluminum can projects just use the sidewall piece and I've done a lot of projects with the flattened sheets of the can and if you're interested in how I flatten my aluminum cans I'll put a link to that in the description box of this tutorial. But sometimes you want to take just the top of the can off and leave the rest of the can intact and in some cases I've even just wanted to get down to this only just this little rim piece of the can for some of my craft projects. So I have to admit that I was not expecting the can opener to work very well, but my first test turned out pretty well. The lid came off cleanly. You can see that it has sort of a ripple to it, so you wouldn't want to reuse this piece because there are some sharp edges, but the inside was surprisingly free of burrs and not really uh, too rough at all. My second test, however, I did end up puncturing the can and making a hole in the can. And hopefully you can see this, but there are little pinpoint indentations from the can opener itself, from the little wheel, where it has slightly damaged the can, which may or may not be a concern. But obviously if you're trying to save the entire can, uh, this one would be a scrap piece. So sort of 50-50 results on using the can opener. With the draft top, you can see that the top comes off much cleaner and you're left with a little bit more of a lip on the top of the can and the inside ring is very smooth as well. The biggest difference between these two techniques is that you can reuse the can lid for projects like these little aluminum canisters. I was really curious about this last technique and it comes out similar in some ways to the draft top version. You get a very clean lid there's even more of the lip left on the top, top of the piece, so it actually is superior to the draft top if you are wanting to reuse the lid. It doesn't fall in quite as easily. The one difference is that the, the inside rim of the can is very clean and smooth, but the top edge of the can is slightly rougher and a little flatter. It's hard to see, and it's not rough enough that you're going to hurt yourself or anything. It just does change the, the rim of the can just a little bit to a flatter surface and a little rougher surface. So there are some obvious advantages to using a can opener. It's very fast. And easy. And most everybody has a can opener, so it's quite accessible. You do get a smooth ring at the top if you want to use just the ring portion of the can, but you can't reuse the lid, and in some cases it can damage the can a little bit. With the draft top tool, some of the advantages are that you can reuse the top, you do get a nice smooth ring, and it doesn't damage the can. But, of course, it is an added cost. And there is a tiny bit of a learning curve to using this can opener. I should mention that it's intended for opening cans that are still full, but if you're using it for crafting, you don't necessarily have to keep your can straight up and down. There are some wheels here that you just grab the inside ring of your can, and then you're going to squeeze this little handle until you actually uh, grip the can. And then you just turn the, wheel, turn the can until you hear sort of a cracking sound which indicates that you're getting through the aluminum. And it does take a little longer than the can opener. You can hear that.
but it's fairly quick and you do get nice usable pieces when you're done. So as I mentioned, I was very curious about how this technique would work. And what you need for this technique is just a pair of needle nose pliers, some wet and dry sandpaper, any grit will do, and a little bit of water. Some of the advantages of this, like I said, is that you're left with a, more of a lip on your lid. So if you're going to reuse the top of the can, you might want to use this technique. It is also very inexpensive and you probably have the materials on hand that you need. The drawbacks are that it is the most time consuming and it's a little bit messy and it's not the best technique if you're going to be using just the ring of the can because more of the rim is, is left attached to the top of the can so there's just less integrity for the left in the ring. I'm going to go ahead and demo this but it gets a little noisy. So all you need to do is wet your sandpaper and then hold the can kind of where you've got some support on the ring. You don't have to press super hard and you're just going to sand the top of the can for about two and a half minutes. So I'm going to speed that part up. It gets kind of noisy and uh, once you're done with that, you should just be able to pull the top off with your needle nose pliers. So let's give this a go. So it's been two and a half minutes of sanding and the top just comes right off. So all of these methods will work for removing the top of your aluminum can it, and you can choose based on what your end product will be. I think I still prefer the draft top overall if you do a lot of crafting with aluminum cans. It might be worth spending the 24-ish dollars to buy one of these. You can also buy cheaper brands for less than that, but certainly you can use these other two methods as well. I hope you found this information helpful for your next aluminum can project. Be sure to check some of the fun projects you can make from aluminum cans by tapping your screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to get more upcycling content. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.